Hi, 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 hi. Look how cute my sweatshirt is. Now available. Josie, what's your merch website? Who the fuck is chipchrome.com? Who TF? Yeah, who the fuck is chipchrome.com? Oh, fuck is in it? Actual curse word, baby. You're gonna have to delete that on the channel. Sorry, kids. Sorry, kids. This sweatshirt is now available on who the fuck Please. is chipchrome.com. How cute. I got an XXL for those asking because I like it big and cozy so when I wake Ooh. up, I can just. And is this sustainable? Yeah, it's the Eco Fleece. This is Eco Fleece. Champion Eco Fleece. So it's Champion Eco Fleece. So it's sustainable, which we love. And I want one. My dad wants one. My dad's on FaceTime. I just drank my celery juice. I'll tell my guy. Like, yeah, Jesse will tell his guy, Dad. What size are we talking? XL? Motherfucking XL, B. Let's <laughs> go. Anyways, now I'm going to make some matcha. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Not funny. <laughs> now good. Hell care, all right. Shelby, are we going on a walk? This is what my mantra looks like. I feel like I would love to do a series of my current favorite TikToks with you guys. Let me know your thoughts. We sit down, I hold my phone and show you guys my, except I won't be able to see your reaction. Jesse and I lay in bed and I like a bunch of TikToks and then I show it to him. I like some catered to his sense of humor. Oh my god, you guys. Dad, let, guess what happened in bed last night? It was so scary. What? So, I poured my glass of water. This exact glass, which love these glasses, but this, since they're so chic and cute, the glass is very thin, so they break very easily. Side note, I am Hulk. I'm so strong, I don't even know my limits. So, I... Filled up the cup with a ton of crushed ice and some water because one of my very awful habits is chewing ice. So I'm laying in bed, just heated up some Domino's pizza. I'm parched and I'm pouring the water in my mouth and the all of the crushed ice had become one giant thing. So I had to like bite into the crushed ice and then it falls apart and then I can eat the little crunchies. While doing that, I bit so hard that I broke the entire glass and this whole part shattered and went into my crushed ice. And then and as well as- it didn't go into your mouth. Yeah, it didn't go into my mouth, thankfully. But then it went oh all God. over the bed. And so I was like, Jesse's like, don't move, don't move, don't move. Martin's under the covers with me. I'm just like, oh my God, frozen. And I feel like crushed or like glass in my hair, but I don't know if it's my mind being like, like feel like, you know, when you see a spider and then you sure. feel spiders, that's what I thought that what was happening with the glass. So I like went and I moved over and I stuck my hand like where I thought it was. And then I felt the glass and I picked it up and then it, it, it cut me like really bad. And I was bleeding nonstop. Still am probably actively oh bleeding. My gosh, Dad. But yeah, we ended up cleaning it up and then we had to vacuum the bed. It was quite the ordeal at like oh, midnight. But, so, but it just so blew my you're... mind that you were doing that with these cups that notoriously, I mean, how many of these cups have, have I'll, I'll say we to make it not seem all your fault, but how many of these cups have been broken in our household? I know. Guys, she was doing this with the fucking cup. <laughs> she had the ice on the edge of it here, going in bed, laying down like like 60 degree horizontal, like like crunching the ice against the cup, like with the glass. She could have, oh uh, no, when it, when it happened, no, it was ridiculous. When it happened, she had her mouth shut for a second and I'm like, oh my God. Are you, is your mouth, I mean, she could have fucked up this beautiful mouth that you all love. It was scary. And what I, Deb, I told, told you, quit chewing ice. You got I know. I'm not perfect. I don't know what you want from me. Marty. I love him. 
This is my son for all of the new viewers. I don't know if there's any new viewers. This is Martin. His birthday is October 5th and he's perfect. Hi, Meech. So I just went to the grocery store because I had to pick up something from FedEx. Went to pick up some LaCroix. The LaCroix box opened one of the sides and it ended up giving me a paper cut. So, ow and all of the LaCroix spilled all over the floor. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm like picking it up in the middle of fucking Vons. But oh, whatever, we survive. In other news, the package that I went to go pick up it is the things I bought from the Agent Provocateur sale. So I recently just donated a ton of my bras because my boobs have just been fluctuating a lot, but they've kind of been the same size for like a year now. So now I'm getting bras that are the size of these current boobs. So, but I kind of went overboard, but it was a sale, it was 70% off. I felt like I needed to. <laughs> okay, Ooh, this kind of looks big. So in some of their bras, I'm a 32 double D, which I know I don't look that at all, but others I'm a 32 D, so. I usually switch off, but for this one, since it's a push-up, I got a 32 double D. It's a beautiful royal blue. I actually have this bra in pink and black, and I love it. So I got it in blue, and I also got the matching bottoms, and I got these bottoms in a size three because the two fit, but they're kind of tight, and I like my underwear to not, like, I want them to be comfortable. Then I also got, I love orange. It's like one of my favorite colors. Why do these all look huge? But I got this really pretty orange lace and then the matching bottoms. I love when they have this material on the side and the bottom's really cute. I love wearing a matching bra and underwear set under a dress because then I just feel so much more put together. This one's cute, it has a monogrammed AP pattern and then in the middle of the bows, there's little roses, really cute. Then I also got this. It just looks really comfortable and I love the little red trim. I feel like this would be cute under a white tank top or something where you can just see the outline. And I got the matching thong. Ooh, scandalous to go with it. Then I bought these black lace frilly underwear because why did I buy these? I don't know. Gonna try it on. I'm not gonna show it to you on camera though, sorry. Something very exciting is happening. I am getting our kitchen reorganized. This is the first day, so it's before. So I wanna show you so far what's going on. This is Kareen. <laughs> okay, so we are going through everything right now. So this is all what... <laughs> Mine and Jessie's gorgeously organized cabinets have come to. The Koreans are already helping us. And so what we're gonna do is move all the food that was over here, over here, because it makes so much more sense. We're keeping all these like electronics and random stuff in the kitchen, which just doesn't make sense. So we're gonna move all of that over here and just kind of have a new take on the kitchen. This is all gonna be on my Depop. I bought these shoes for my friends when we are going out all the time, and they all have different sized feet than me, so I would just keep different sized shoes at my house, but no one's going out anymore because of COVID. So I figure, who knows when the world will get back to normal. We can buy new shoes by then. These ones, everyone's worn before, and it's time to say goodbye. We'll show you the rest later. Hi. I pretty much cleaned up. The whole closet made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outfits for my sister and I. So my sister and I never take photos together considering we're founders of a company, but women owned business and we rarely get pictures together. We're doing a photo shoot today with Lauren at my parents' house. So these would be actually kind of cute to bring. Cause they're like businessy. So we have like a suit, I've worn this outfit before. It's a Danielle Guizzo suit with a little vintage chiffon, roughly top under, but then I paired it with some Manolos. 
very cute. And then right here we have another Danielle Gizo pleated skirt with these plaid Prada Mary Janes. A vintage YSL blazer and a vintage Spider-Man shirt, but if we are not allowed to use uh, Spider-Man, I have this vintage limited two shirt that says girl power with a dog on it with these knee-high Burberry boots. And then the next look, two-piece. Can you guys even see? I'm like shaking because I had coffee. Vintage Comme des Garcons two-piece with tube socks and some Doc Martens to be paired with this baggy oversized suit with a Alexa Chung. This is vintage from Jet Rag. Alexa Chung sweater vest and the Balenciaga pointy toe Barbie shoes from Real Real. That doesn't look good. We also have this option, which is just a vintage plaid skirt with the same suit, same sweater vest. And then these vintage Steve Madden Mary Janes and black sheer tights. And then we went with a fun look. It's this realization dress, a Paco Rabanne, scarf are you in my skirt mew mew shoes dng vintage sushi ringer tee added a jacket changed the shoes just in case i did all that this morning put i literally put on the most random outfit i look like a five-year-old but whatever I'm gonna pack up the car and go i got my matcha and matcha for my sister I haven't vlogged this entire time. It's because we're busy trying to get the shot, but we're at the Wildflower Warehouse now. A lot's changed since last time I showed you guys. We're here in the fulfillment area. Staff and everyone's gone home, but. This is what I'm wearing for a final look. Sister. In my outfit. Yeah. yeah. Lauren's shooting right now. Hey. I'll start my pocket. Yeah. Get it, get it. Same little boo, boo thing. thing. Shorty got the fatty. Shorty got the fatty. Yeah. Sister made us dinner. Good job, Sid. Yeah, Sid. Good job, Sid. Yeah, 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 Sid. The sunset's beautiful. My sister and I are just watching glow up now. I need to take off my makeup. Sydney and I tried to do old dance. Move. We tried to do some leaps, some chanage tape. We failed. Sydney got a splinter. We're watching Glow Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Hey guys, morning. Hey. <laughs> oh, you're here? Whatever. Someone feels I just want to go instant JoJo Siwa. Like, I said, I want to want to want to want to want to Hey guys, so Kareen finished somewhat phase one, we should call it, of organizing and uh, wanted to show you the results. Jesse and I are pleased. This is before. Scary. This is after. Ah. And then all of our baking things that I never really use, so they're on the top shelf. And then down here, we have our reusable water bottles and our medicine. Kareem decided to put, make this our breakfast area, which- uh, I, I believe she referred to it as, as, a, as a nook. Okay, a breakfast nook. You know, in our last place, we had a breakfast cranny, and that just didn't quite work. We needed a nook. We have all of our jars. This is my matcha collagen. Some chia seeds. Say that ten times fast. Some chia seeds, some flax seeds that I sprinkle on smoothies. Now, what exactly does that do? Oh, that's right. Nothing. Yes, <laughs> chia <laughs> seeds kidding. are really good at absorbing stuff, and flax seeds are good for the opposite. Granola. <laughs> then we have dates, which is my new favorite jar. I bought these dates, and my new favorite snack is dates with almond butter and frozen dark chocolate chips. I had three yesterday. It's really good. It's like healthy cookie dip. We have our mug shelf right conveniently next to the coffee. Oh, lovely. Then we have our vases, which I call vases. Right here is where all the tea happens, where we spill the tea, my tea drawer with my Manuka honey, matcha spoons, electric whisk. Then we have my supplement drawer because I take these 
every day. I love these little gummies. Then down here we have all of our rags and oven mitts and then nut bags for when I make juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, excuse me, what was that last thing called again? Jesse, I swear to God. Um, so then in here is the preparations drawer so when you're like oh i want to separate that's what you do here we have our amazing pots and pans collection you know it's really taken quite a few years to build this incredible collection then we have our beautiful silverware drawer with the straw section this beautiful versace wine topper that Sid Nasty got me for my b-day obsessed next drawer cooking utensils so like the stirs, the scoopers, the spatula. Up here, cups, and that's it. And we <laughs> cleared out a whole extra shelf, so that's swag. Then we have bowls, plates, plates, plates. These are actually plates, they're not <laughs> Yeah, bowls. I know. Folks, I want you to look at the depth of this. No, it's not rounded, it's she got. She made fun of me one night for putting, I believe oh, it was- Who put cereal in that? It was a, could, a bit of what, cinnamon toast crunch. That's what these are for, these are here. rounded. Well, we at the time we only had one of those. No, we didn't. We've and it was probably had dirty. Least two. Now look at. Also, we only have two of those bowls. That's insane. Jesse, I then you go buy some, okay? <laughs> then this cabinet is all of our seasonings and fun mm -hmm. stuff. And then right. Do we already have that? No, I bought these. The carousel. <clears throat> yeah, these are all I had to buy. She reused a lot of. Our stuff. And then we have my pasta. I love these pasta <laughs> noodles. They're made from chickpea. Great. Then rice, beans, cheese, tomato, potato. <laughs> then look at all of this counter space we cleared. It was not like this. I also need to wipe it down. <laughs> Sorry. This is our serving space. It's all right there. And then we have our air fryer, our blender, and our waffle maker. Gorgeous. Then right here we have snacks. This is our bar shelf. We have a lot of Casamigos. We have a lot of Coppola wine. You want to get fucked up is where you're going to be. Uh, take me up to the second shelf really quick though. This is Gia Coppola wine. What's it's up really here? Beautiful. This is our weed shelf. So we have our edibles, rolling papers, everything Jesse needs. So thank you, Kareen. It was so much fun doing this with you. Cheers, my love. <laughs> <laughs>